Hey, 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 what's up? EMIP is in the building. I'm here to tell you what's in this bag. And what's in this bag is my Monolite. It's a Flashpoint Monolite 1820A. And it's so good, I want to do a quick review of it. Let me show you. Uh, this is right here. Let me put this down. This is the Flashpoint Monolite 1820A. It's 900 watt seconds. It's made by Adorama. Now, I love Adorama gear. I love the, uh, the um, tripods, the monolites, the soft boxes. I mean, uh, if you need any kind of gear, I recommend going to them. And let me tell you something. They're not sponsoring me. They don't even know I exist, okay? They don't know who the hell Dre is, all right? But if, you know, their gear is good. So if it's good, I'm going to like it. Anyway, this is the uh, uh, Flashpoint. 1820A monolite, 900 watt seconds, and I take this thing wherever I go. It's always in the car, just in case I need it, because I use it to overpower the sun. Instead of uh, using uh, three, four speed lights all ganged together to try to get the power to overpower the sun, one monolite, and that does the trick. And it's pretty easy to take it on the go. It's pretty portable. A lot of people will use this in the studio only, but I do like to take it out of the field. I use it in the studio and in the field as well. So let me show you how to set it up real quick. Okay, it comes up with the uh, stand. You just kind of get your light stand. You put it on there, tighten the screw. And that's it. You know, make sure this is tight. That's it. You know, you can point it up. You can point it down and it's ready to go. So this is the, uh, the, the cover for the, uh, the, the bulb. It automatically comes with the uh, reflector. Kind of put it over the bulb. Uh, that's it. Oh, I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. I always have technical difficulties when I'm making like these videos. I'm trying to make this go like real smooth, but it's not. There we go. You heard the click. All right, so the reflector is in, and that's it. This is going to be hard light when you shoot this way, so I do shoot this with a soft box. It, uh, this is a speed ring. It, this does not come with the speed ring for the soft box. You have to buy this on its, on its own. But you can, you can shoot it like this with this modifier on it. It, it is kind of hard light, but this thing is, is powerful as four, you know, five speed lights when I'm shooting outdoors, and that's why I use this thing. So let me show you what the back looks like. Okay, you have your power switch where you can just turn it off and uh, zero's off, one is on, right? This is a modeling light, okay? So the modeling light, you have full, off, and low. And that lets you see what your light is going to look like before uh, you take the shot. You have the sound, this is your beep sound. It goes beep every time it's ready. It'll let you know it's ready for the next shot. And this is your sensor. This thing does have an optical sensor right here. That way you can also trigger it if you're using other flash. So if this unit senses any flash in the room, this optical sensor will pick it up and it'll flash at the same time. And then that way, if you're using it that way, you don't need a uh, wireless trigger to power this device. And then of course you got the test button. See there it goes, test, test. This is the dial that uh, turns it, works the power, and you can go all the way down to 1 16th power to full power. As you can see, it's ready for full power. And as you dump it down from full power to go low, you know, it will uh, refresh and get rid of all that power so you can shoot at like a quarter power or anything lower than full blast. So, and that's about it. It, it, it has, you can set this anywhere. It doesn't have like, it has really tiny notches. Like, see, that's eighth. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight notches, I guess, between each of the 16th to an eighth, the eighth to a quarter, quarter to a half, and of course, a half to a full. Okay, so that's basically all the features of this thing, except for if you use an umbrella. If you use an umbrella with this thing, it's ready to go. It has a, uh, an umbrella port that goes right through the reflector and then through the light stand. Let me just loosen the screw. Oh, I'm on the wrong hole. Technical difficulties, as always. Anyway, okay, so there it is. In the umbrella, it's, it's kind of tightened in. It automatically fits the umbrella, and notice it shoots through the center. I just did a video about that, and that's what I like. That way, it can illuminate this whole umbrella. So there you have it. This is the uh, Flashpoint 1820A. It's 900 watt seconds. When I bought it, I got it on sale for 269. Right now, it's listed on Anorama's website for uh, 309. 
So it's a little bit more expensive, but I'll tell you what, it's cheaper. A lot of people like to go with the Alien Bees. The Alien Bees and the White Lightnings and the Einsteins, all the Paul C. Buff uh, uh, lights. Um, I like this light better, although I never use those, but with the review, I do like this light better. I, I decided to buy this one. It was cheaper than the most expensive Alien Bee, and it's actually more powerful than the most expensive Alien Bee. And this thing didn't let me down as well. As you can see, it's a little bigger than the Alien Bee, kind of long, but you see it's pretty quick to put on the stand. It's light. Uh, I'm umbrella friendly and I take it out in the field and I have a good time. Now this thing is AC powered. I do bring a DC pack with me like the uh, Paul C. Buff Vagabond, but it's a battery pack that I made myself. And I'll show you how to do that in an up and coming video. And, and when I'm out on the field with that battery pack, I can shoot 200 plus shots on full power. Uh, it's very powerful. So anyway, there you have it. This is the Adorama Flashpoint 1820A Monolite. I don't use it in the studio. I use it outdoors as well. So um, bringing you this review because I like this a lot. Thank you for watching. I'm Dre. EMIP's out. Okay, thank you for watching this video as I reviewed the Adorama Flashpoint 1820A Monolite. It's 900 watt seconds. And if you like this video, please subscribe right here because I can bring you more reviews like this as I review all my gear and any uh, future gear that I may get in the future. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'm right here, EMIP's in the building. So what's the deal, yo?